is one black British woman's voice. And for this moment, I want to address the clip of those catwalk models singing rap songs. Um, see the link to that video below in the bio. Currently, there's a viral video bouncing around social media of a group of mainly white models cheerfully singing a rap song prior to them getting dressed and embarking on their catwalks. It looks like your average basic white girl sing along and all that was missing was pillows, pumpkin lattes and bejeweled teeny dogs. However, one thing in particular has sparked controversy and that was the fact that whenever the word nigger comes up in the rap song, the models chose to sing it rather than purse their lips in disapproval. I saw one tweet even go so far as to screenshot a moment from that video and circle in red one of the models who looked to be olive skinned with a caption, look, she's about to mouth the N word. Now, I'm wearing my sunglasses so you can't see my eyes, but actually what's going on underneath is a succession of eye rolls. Why? Well, firstly, what do you expect? White music industry moguls have monopolised on the hunger of poor young black men's determination to escape poverty and gain success by giving them record deals to make music which dehumanizes and degrades their own black people. Rap went from conscientious spoken word to gratuitous rantings glorifying financial and, sex uh, and sexual excesses and went from words of empowerment to spouting all sorts of threats and boasts laced with racial slurs commonly reserved for the mouths of their ancestors previous owners. These genres of music have been packaged and marketed successfully to the masses and unfortunately an unassuming youth have gobbled up the degrading wordings with few thoughts for the black people that have genuinely suffered under the behest of that word. So what difference does it make when these models sing the n-word? Yes, by all means, black people should pursue against white people who say it, whether they're miming it along to it in a song or confronting a black person with it in an argument. But right now, in this particular case, I think save your energies. The greater problem in the, is the greater problem is the music industry that exports and makes money from it. These ditzy models aren't the absolute threat. It's the billion dollar music factory that churns out the content that needs to be brought to task and ultimately dismantled. Anyway, this is one black British woman's voice. And today I'm out.